Hey guys, already you have guessed what I am gonna do. Well, no need to get worried because this is simple. To remove the background of this image, well, there are a few easy way we can take, but we'll not do that. That is not professional. So we have to go through the pen tool and it will take lots of time. No problem, keep your passions. Well, let's get started. First, what I'll do, I'll select this one and I'll press Ctrl plus to zoom in. And it's very easy to remove the background by using Pento. But the problem is that we need time to remove this. Well, here, here we can see two crucial part here and the full portion and there is a spoke also and there's little bit portion of this background well now what i'll do i will use the pen tool i'll select here i'll take the pen tool select here and come here hold and press the left key and come in the downside and press and hold the alt key left click here well keep one thing in your mind if you delete the object no problem but don't take the background control z control z this is too the gap is too high well now i'll take this and press and hold the alt key left click here i'll come in the downside control z to come here and then i'll click here one by one i'll come in this side and i'll make it a little bit curved make one up. just press and hold the left button of the mouse and drag it top left click here and go there top control z no i have to come here first and then finish now right click on this and make selection after that okay now go to the layers and click on the lock sign that means unlock it and then press the delete button yes control d you are done and then select here select and make it round hold and press the alt key left click here select this and now click in the middle make selection out of it okay delete control d well control zero background of this portion has been removed so what we'll do i'm take i'm going to the layer and click on the plus sign this is the new layer i will take the foreground color red okay and press alter delete and take this layer in the downside yes we can see the background has been removed here well for just checking i have given this and select layer zero select layer zero and control plus again to zoom in mm, too much control minus well well let's check this out if there is any problem yes break little bit problem here we have taken a background so what i'll do i'll take the elliptical marker tool make a round and i'll drag it from the middle take it up and press the delete button and take it in the right side this is too much well left side press the delete button and control d well it's just awesome now Hmm, I have to select this one, this portion, control minus. Well, no problem, it's not a big deal. I'll select from here, I will make it a little bit curved. Alter, delete. Well, always keep this in your mind. If you delete the body of the object, no problem, but never take the background making it curve and press on the alt key left click here 
well i'll scroll this and if i directly come here hmm, this book is too thin to catch well but no problem And there is little portion you have to lose. This is the break. Well, I'm just clicking. If you are not very much expert to making the line curve, that means like this, then no problem. You can go through by clicking. Suppose you are not able to make it curve, then you can use just the left button of your mouse. No problem. I will cut the body of the object. Right click, make selection after the OK, and press the delete button in the keyboard and Control D, Control Zero. Whew. Yes, Control Plus. Control Plus. Well, now what you will do? Hmm. Yes. I have to select this one and click this. Well, whenever we'll finish, I have to retouch a little bit because I want to make the spoke a little bit black. After finishing the work, that is too white. And it's quite difficult to catch. And don't get worried. This is too simple because each and every time you have to do the same work, same work. Nothing is different here. You might think that, oh, this is so difficult. And uh, make selection, okay. I'm pressing the delete button. Control D. Yes. Control zero. Yeah, I have got that. Well, you can think that this is a game and you have to win. The level will finish whenever you will finish the removing, finish removing the background. Well, now here what you will do just click here one time one time left click left click left click right click make selection okay i'm pressing the delete button control d yes and there's a little bit white portion no problem i'll make it correct later and this small portion you have to find out each and every gap of this image. Just select with the pen tool, right click, make selection, OK, and delete. And remember one thing, if you are expert in pen tool, then you are the master of Photoshop. Click this one, pressing the delete button. Yes, control D. Well, there are lots of few portion. Left click, left click, left click, left click, left click, right click, max selection, and okay. Press the delete button and control D. You have to click here, click there. And go in the right side a little bit. Not here. I wanted to click here. Well, I'm pressing Control Z one two. If I click here directly, what happens? Okay. 
right click make selection okay i'm pressing the delete button control d and control zero okay I, like this i have to delete all of the part or the gap and then suppose you need to delete this area control plus yes just like that and i'll select this i'll click here i'll come here in the top side make it curve we'll then press the alt key left click here come here alt key left click here come there go there and left click here click here click here click here click here and come here directly Hold and press the left key, drag it in that side. If I want to do it from here, no, it will not take control Z. I have to take it from here up. Hold and press the Alt key and delete this from here. Little bit portion, alter, and I'll finish it. Right click, make selection, OK, and then press the delete button. Control D. Well, it has deleted. And now, if you want to remove that, then you can use this elliptical mark at all. Just make a round of that. This is too much. Well, well. Just take it in right away. Or the background also remove control D. I have to make it a little bit more round. Well, you can use the arrow key to adjust if I delete this. Yes, it's okay now. And here, what you can do, you can uh, make one more round. Just select this, press the delete button. And here also, delete. Well, control D. Control zero. Well, and then I'm pressing control plus again. Suppose you want to select the tire and this area also. How to do that? Just take the pen tool. I'm starting from here. I will come in the downside. Just hold and press the lift key and drag it in the downside. If you cut the tire, no problem, but don't take the object. Sorry, background. Where is my gap? Well, like this, I'm selecting Control Z. This is not perfect. And I'll go there because I'm not I'm not gonna take a very big area because I'll not show the full. The same work I have to do every time if we come here control Z no this is not round this is a square are you understanding yes sir 
Well, just need your passions. Finish this right click, make selection. Okay. And press the delete button. Control D. Control zero. Well, like this, you have to take each and every gap and delete the background. So you need time support. You will not do this right now. You want to do it later because you have spent uh, one and a half hour for this and you are feeling headache or something like that. Go to the file and then save as. That means you want to do it tomorrow or later. Save on your computer. And I want to save this for later. And today is the date. Well, I write down remaining bicycle work, remaining bicycle work, and save this. Okay, save it as PSD file, not JPG, not anything, so that you can do the work later. Suppose we we'll let uh, it finish. Well, suppose I have closed this. That means I have closed my Photoshop, closed everything. I'll do it later. Now, what you can do after two hours or after two days, what you can do, you can um, go to that work. That means where you have saved that. Well, and from here, remaining bicycle work. This is a PSD file. Just double click that. It will open in Photoshop as you have kept this in the last time. like as you have kept this in the last time that means now you can start again suppose well, i'm gonna show you now i can do it or not well suppose i am gonna do this i'll press Control plus this is to a straight line so I'll go at last directly. Yeah. Have a deep break. Yes. Well, 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 I'll come here directly or select this. Well, well, this will not work here. Control Z. Well, I'll click here. Click here, come there, go there, and hold on, press the Alt key, select this one. Well, I'm going fast. Well, if I directly come here, yes, it's perfect. And now I have to click here, click here, click here. Well, if you are a beginner, then you can go through like that, or what you can do, you can come here and take it. This is too much 
gap control z well i'll press and hold the alt key yes, now i can select that So you have to go through like this. Well, now I'll directly go top or you can click here. I'll scroll this to top. I'll directly go there. You can go through by clicking. Suppose you are not very much excited to making the tool curve like this. now come here and straight at this point there is a gap well what you do make it hard fully curved. will come here straight and finish it now right click uh, make selection I put it ok and press the delete button and control D control 0 well it has removed and this is not the gap because it zoomed out so if it is a very high quality image and if you zoomed out then it will show like this now watch here very sharp very excellent well, and there is no way to do the professional work without pen tool. Hope you have understood how to remove the background of the bicycle. I'm not doing full because uh, we have to finish lots of topics and you have understood, I think. Yes. Okay, now do the same as I have done here. So download a bicycle image and try this. Thank you so much.